What is going on guys, Apple Fox here and the iOS 10.1.1 is now available for the public so you can download it right now. And in this video I'll be talking about everything you need to know about it like what's new, what's changed but if you should actually update it first place. So by taking a look at the update you may see that it's definitely not a huge size with only 63.4 megabytes on my iPhone 7. And again, because it is just 10.1.1 we don't expect any huge overhauls. But in the description of the update, we can see it fixes more bugs, including an issue where some health data could not be viewed for some users. Apple has linked us to their website where you can read all of the important information regarding to security and it basically explains how Apple patches those bugs in order to make your device safe. Considering that the size of the file is not very big, the update won't take much time to get installed. Since the iOS 10 was pushed out, there have been lots of updates like 10.0.1, 10.0.2, 0.3 and that is a huge amount and all of those updates are described as bug fixing and security improving. So you know, it can make you feel like it is too much but on the other side, it's of course nice that Apple is working on fixing those as well as working on some beta versions. Now as you can see my iPhone has just finished the update and now my device is running the latest available software. Of course, it's only available for the iPhones that support it. So in case you have an iPhone 4S, for example, you won't receive it, but you probably know it already, so I don't really think I have to talk about something like this. As I said earlier, the main point of this update is the resolved issue where some health data or some kind of information from the health app was not showing up for some users. I can't really tell what it is because I don't really use it that much, and also it cannot be something huge because we would be already talking about it. Now let's take a look at the storage capacity just like every time there is a new update. So this is a screenshot running iOS 10.1. As you can see the capacity is at 27.82GB and the available storage is at 10.27GB. After updating to iOS 10.1.1, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, the capacity stayed the same but we gained more than 200MB back when talking about available storage, so it's great. If you still wonder for some reason if it's worth updating, well, if your device is running the iOS 10.1, then you should definitely update because the 10.1.1 fixes bugs in iOS 10.1. It's pretty much the same with Apple every time. They release a software and then they release an update which improves the previous one. So this is the end of today's video, just like always I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did then just support me with a like. I hope you're having an amazing day and see you next time.